creating users and groups. Yep, here and PDM uh, in the old, I'm gonna create users and the groups to uh, old local bolt uh, down. I'll just explore it and here. <laughs> just go ahead with that drop down by just logging in inside and here we could see in this admin administration tool we have users and groups right now I'll just start with users I'll right click on it and I'll select new user here I have already predefined few of the users if you want to add the permission you can just select admin permission otherwise where you want to add the new one you just type the name here that's why such in s click ok and it will give the issues you won't define the permission you just define it otherwise the next so it's showing no permission has been no assigned or password has not been assigned so I'll keep it like this now if you want to define the permissions it would directly define it and if you want to assign the folder permissions that also it could do so for this I'll just activate only uh, these options you can accept as the post and these So depending upon the groups which you are using let's say how to find a few of the groups like uh, all users engineering and manufacturing and management depending upon the groups you can assign the permissions in the same way I'll just use other users from here I'll just select few of them from this list which I already created you can particularly assign permissions to the users as well as the groups remember this so these are my users now let's go with groups how to create the groups go ahead with new group right click on it and select it and define the group name let's say all users assign the permissions even you could assign the users to that particular groups okay we'll assign the uh, permissions to management here look on it and we'll go ahead with uh, uh, administrative permissions so here I'll select the required permission for this particular uh, management group so what exactly they can uh, deal with so I'll just select few of these
permission which in which and all I have given over there, right? Now folder permission for this. So I'll define the folder. <coughs> this I'll select uh, all of this as you could see yep so for the next group engineering or this time yep engineering here administration permissions as you could see these are the selections which I'm gonna do state change comments and uh, can update <coughs> search favorites and uh, can accept tasks yep. <laughs> only these permissions are assigned to this manufacturing group and the folder permissions these are the things which I'm gonna select and uh, you just uh, specify the same permission for the, this particular group if you want to create the same groups so this is a better way to deal with and even after uh, specifying each permissions you can uh, change whenever you want that's simple right and you just remember these selections which I did. Yeah. Now, time to assign the group members. So, I will define the users and I'll add the uh, users to the groups. Yep, for all users, I'll uh, define uh, group members and select add. From there, I'll choose uh, these two and uh, for the next group. And there's uh, engineering. Light, uh, admin and uh, only admin is enough. Well, same way you can assign uh, group members to sorry users to different groups. That's all. Stay tuned for the next videos.